We acknowledge our First Nations peoples who cared for this country for tens of thousands of years before settlement, their continued rich cultural connection to country, and pay respects to Elders past, present and emerging. Before European occupation, expansive river red gum forests, such as the present day Gutcham State Forest, with trees hundreds of years old, provided a vital feeding and foraging ground for now endangered birds, such as the grey crowned babbler, Australasian bittern, and colonial nesting species, such as the great egret. About seven or eight years in every ten, the Murray River would flood and inundate these forests for months on end. Smaller, overbank floods would also fill the wetlands throughout the forest. Waterbird breeding and nesting events were common, with the birds attracted to the trees, the lush wetland vegetation and plentiful food. Because food was so rich, the area was a heartland for traditional owners and there were a number of large villages in the forests. Even today, the forests contain irreplaceable cultural heritage. River regulation and climate change have had a dramatic impact on the forests and the animals and plants that rely on them to survive. Floods are less frequent, with only five short-lived forest floods in the past 20 years. As a result, the health of the forest has suffered. There is little understory in the forest and the wetland vegetation has all but gone. Wetlands, such as reed bed swamp, no longer contain reeds and the number of plants and animals has severely declined. The river red gums have marched into the wetlands because follow-up floods don't happen or aren't long enough. This reduces the area of open water habitat that ducks, spoonbills and swans need. The lack of regular flooding has also reduced the ability of the forests to bounce back after large floods or dry periods, meaning they provide less habitat for animals. Bird numbers across the entire Murray-Darling Basin have declined 70% in the past 30 years, largely due to a loss of healthy habitat. In fact, numbers of grey crown babbler, who nest on edges of both Guthrum and Benmore forests, have declined about 90% since pre-European occupation. Guthrum Forest is one of the few remaining river red gum floodplain systems in Victoria and has significant ecological importance in the Murray-Darling Basin. The time to save this important forest is now. Across northern Victoria and southern New South Wales, sustainable diversion limit projects are being established to help deliver the ecological objectives of the Murray-Darling Basin Plan without further buybacks. The Victorian Murray Floodplain Restoration Projects, such as the one in the Gutchum State Forest, aim to restore these floodplains in a way that keeps more water in the system for irrigators. At Gutchum, works will enable water for the environment to be delivered efficiently and effectively without water buybacks to give the plants and animals the water they need to survive. Under the plan, two pump stations will be installed at either ends of the forest and a regulator will control the water on the floodplain. Levees may be built and or repaired to keep the water where it needs to be and stop it escaping onto nearby farmland. Water for the environment will be pumped onto the floodplain three years in every ten with water fed into the semi-permanent wetlands a further seven. When combined with natural flooding, the forest should receive a drink every two to three years. 99% of the semi-permanent wetlands and 82% of the forest will receive the right amount of water at the right time of year. Engagement will continue with locals and traditional owners over the next few years, with construction finished by 2024. This project will help the forests we all love survive and build resilience in them 
to cope with dry conditions in the future. And it will do it all by keeping irrigation water in the region. This project is being implemented as part of Victoria's obligations under the Murray-Darling Basin Plan in partnership with Lower Murray Water, Goulburn Murray Water, Mallee CMA, North Central CMA, Parks Victoria and the Department of Environment, Land, Water and Planning. The VMFRP program is funded by the Commonwealth Department of Agriculture.